letter to the person who killed my mother. Dear Mom, you used to walk me to parks so I could parade playfully like a king in a kingdom of grass, trees, and tire swings. You used to stay up with me all night because I was afraid of thunderstorms and couldn't sleep when they rolled like war drums. So I couldn't understand why you had a disease that was slowly taking you from me. Why your eyes pulsated with paranoia every time a dog barked or a car drove by. Why I would talk, yell, scream, and still you hear no words. Why your fists felt like hammers against my skin, slowly turning it to steel. Why your constant conversations with yourself were cause for concern. Schizophrenia is a kid's kaleidoscope, as bright and beautiful as it is warped and broken. Schizophrenia is like God. God in that I'll never understand it. God in that it's not my place to understand it. Dear Mom, tell 10-year-old me why you view the world as if the lenses of your glasses weren't made for your eyes. Tell 10-year-old me why I had to pick a side. It's me or your father, you said and still I couldn't choose. I sat on that white picket fence that represented what I thought my dream should be, what I thought my family should be. Dear Mom, I'd like to ascertain an armistice to end this war we've waged with one another. I've slipped through the cracks in your mask of infamous malformation, erected to masquerade your infected true self. I've slipped through the cracks, and underneath that mask, I found a hollow, hulking shell of who you used to be. Like serpents and cicadas, you molted from your old shell, but your new one never hardened, and thus you were left exposed. And now I understand. Now I can see, as if I have lenses in front of my eyes that were made for me. You see, it was you that was killing yourself. You that watched two generations before you fall. You that could have helped yourself, broken the cycle, instead of being caught in its catastrophic downward spiral. Dear Mom, for the longest time, I thought it was me. Me who was killing you, when in reality, all I did was care for you. Even when I couldn't breathe because you were choking me. So one last time, I beg you, please get help, so you may leave in peace. So you may never say, I was the one who killed me. Yeah.